Dipstick, sorry. Just before this video starts, I want to let you know that this video was meant to be up yesterday, but I didn't know. I just, it, I didn't feel like uploading it yesterday. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this is uh, the first video I've ever made on YouTube, which, like, I I'm actually pretty nervous about. So, I'm the other video that I planned for a day, I'll have to wait for tomorrow. And I hope that a few people can uh, can relate to this video. So, uh, yeah, let's let's get into it. So, yeah, basically, I, um. I have depression. I've had it for about four years now, knowingly. And yeah, I also experience social anxiety. So, I mean, it's not what you want with your cup of tea. And I've only ever, like, told one person about it who I'm not gonna name. But between me and you, like, I feel like we have, like, like a good connection. And I feel like if you wanted to tell us something, like, like, I feel like you, you should tell me. So, like, likewise, I, I just wanna, I just wanna tell you, really. Yeah, so just some background information. Uh, I started getting mild symptoms of it, like, my last two years of school. But for me, when I was in school, like, school was an escape from it. Like, all the troubles that I had back home and the people that I was hanging out with like like when I was home like if school was just like like I could escape from it you know what I mean I think that was because like my school was like it was a fairly middle class like all my mates lived in like townhouses so yeah when I left I went through a, a bad path of about six months to a year and got myself into some bad situations like I mean just look at that haircut full no god with lines down the side I mean it looks like two refillable lines of sugar down my head we've run out of sugar pet oh don't worry <laughs> The adventures of sugar man. So yeah, the only person who knows about the next bit is uh, my mate Dan, you know, who's in the videos. Like the amount of times I used to get punched when I hanged around with certain people. I don't think my mum or dad watches my YouTube videos. I know Paul does, my mum's husband. Yeah, so if you like ever wondered why I literally just sprinted upstairs, sat in my room with the light off all day, uh, that's why. <laughs> but what you've got to remember when you're going through stuff like this, is that there's so many people that are worse off than you. And I know in here, it doesn't seem like it. And I know everyone says, You need to think positive. positive. Yeah. But they don't actually tell you how to. Well, some things that have helped me is what I used to do before is go, why not? I always used to ask myself, why not? I'd go, why am I not feeling happy? Why am I not doing this? And then my brain would go off oh, because of this, this, and this. And that would make us feel bad. But what I found, which my dad actually told us, is if you've got to think how to. So if you're feeling bad, instead of asking yourself, why am I feeling bad? Go, how can I feel better? And then your brain will go, oh, well, you do this, this, this. And that instantly you feel a bit like, oh, yeah, that's, that's good. You know what I mean? Yeah, but for the people that don't know what depression is, it's basically like little things things for me like I wouldn't answer the phone to anyone I wouldn't talk to anyone I wouldn't even be able to leave the house like I grew up in a downstairs flat with like one or two bedrooms with four people me my me mom my me mom's husband Paul and my baby brother who's not a baby anymore he'd probably snap your legs for saying that but I mean like struggling there and struggling there is totally different like struggling in there is like I would honestly put it as the worst thing I've ever experienced in my entire life and I'll say this to you is like right now I can't say I have a hundred percent beat depression because like personally I don't think you can ever like beat it because it's always gonna be there in the back of your head. Like right now, I'm in the happiest place that I've like I've ever been in my entire life. So I just want that to be some sort of like motivation for you. That like you just can't, like you can't, if you're going through bad stuff, you can pull through it. It's like Carl asked us the other day, would I rather be a footballer, but I have to stop YouTube or do YouTube? And every day I'd pick YouTube. Like I absolutely love it. Like it's the best thing in the world. And I'd advise anyone if you're going through bad stuff, is to just pick up your phone and just film yourself and put it on YouTube. Just whatever videos you like doing. And yeah, you'll get a few middle class people going, oh, he's trying to be a YouTuber. But who cares, man? Like, who even are they? Like, I promise you so much good stuff's gonna happen in your life. Like, I've just started working for BBC3. Like, last year, I honestly believe, like, uh, like, that I wasn't gonna be here. So I know I always say leave a comment because uh, I like having a chat with you, which I absolutely do. But seriously, please leave a comment if you're going through something because I replied to all of them and it honestly feels meant to get it off your chest. Like I feel wicked now. Or like obviously I know a lot of people wouldn't want to share that kind of thing. So if you want to private messages on Instagram, ask Cam Kirkham, feel free to do that. I'll get through as many as I can. And it would be really great to have a chat with you, for you and even for me. Like it makes it all feel better. So yeah, sorry about putting a, a, a damper on the air. Uh, on the, on the Christmas thing. But we're back with another video tomorrow and it just felt really good to uh, eventually say that. So I hope, hope you all have a good night and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>